In this video, let's look at how to use AutoML feature in the data flow to easily train a machine learning model without worrying about what algorithm to select or how to tune the model and so on. This feature leverages the AutoML capability that exists in the underlying Oracle Anonymous database. Here's my customer data that it has details on customer ID, gender, age, and so on, and a column called affinity card that has details on whether the customer uses an affinity card or not. So here for each customer, we see the customer details. An affinity card has a value 0 or 1, indicating if the customer uses the card or not. Now let's train a machine learning model that will predict if customers are likely to use affinity card or not. To build this model, you can choose to take a path where you will specify the exact algorithm that you want to use, the hyperparameters that you want to set for model tuning and so on. This can be a long and iterative process. Or you can choose the AutoML option that will do all these steps automatically for you. Let's explore the AutoML option. To do that, first create a data flow and select your customer data. Next you click on the add step and select the AutoML step. Note that this AutoML step will only show up if the input data set is sourcing from an Oracle ADW connection. Now in the AutoML step, you only need to specify what is the target column that you want the model to predict. So you select affinity card. Now notice that the moment you choose this column, because it's of text data type, the system automatically identified that it's a classification problem. So instead of affinity card, if you select a numeric field, say age, it will default to regression. Now go back and select affinity card. So this is the only mandatory input you need to provide in this step. Optionally, you can pick a model ranking metric which will tell the AutoML process which metric to use to assess the model quality and pick the best model for you. If you hover over each of these options, you see that accuracy metric can be used when all the classes in your target are of equal importance. Balanced accuracy is when one class appears a lot more than the other in your data set and so on. In this particular data set, since the value 0 appears a lot more than the value 1, let's pick this metric. That's it. Now I can give it a model name, save the data flow and execute it. Now when the data flow executes under the covers, it invokes the AutoML pipeline in Oracle Autonomous Database, which in turn chooses the algorithm, samples the data, performs feature selection, and finally tunes the hyperparameters. At the end of this process, the database generates the best model for your use case, and the data flow registers this model in Oracle Analytics. So here in the machine learning tab, you see the model generated by the AutoML process. When you inspect the model and look at the details, you see that AutoML process picked naive base in the algorithm. These are the input columns of features that the model is trained on. These are the output columns and the model parameters. Now, if you click on the related tab, it shows you a list of database views that got created as part of the model creation. And these views contain useful metadata about the model. So here's a data set sourcing from one of the model views, and you can create this data set pretty much the same way you'd create any normal data set. So you can bring in some of these columns, add it as a pivot, rearrange some of these columns. You can filter for the just one target value that you're interested in. You can add this conditional probability to color and sort it descending. So with this, you have some metadata about the model. So for each of these attributes or features in your model, you see the attribute values, conditional probability, and the number of records in your data set that met this condition. So now that you have built your model using AutoML and have looked at its metadata, how do you use this model to score your own data set? The process is exactly the same as how you would apply an OML model to score your data set. You create a data flow, select the data set that you want to score, and note that this data set should source from the same Oracle ADW connection where your AutoML model was created. Next, you click on Apply Model, select the model created by AutoML. Here you have the default prediction and probability. If you expand the section, you'll see there are a bunch of additional output columns available. These include the prediction set, which is basically multiple output predictions for each input record, and prediction details that basically provide explainability about your prediction. You can stick to the default outputs 
and the model columns are automatically mapped to your input columns. That's it. You add a save data step, give it a name. You can override the aggregation type of some of these columns here. Save this data flow and execute it. As the data flow executes under the covers, the ML model created by AutoML is invoked and it predicts the target value for each of your input records. As it completes, you see the data set that the data flow created. You can open it, bring in the customer ID, prediction and probability. And you see that for each customer ID, this is the prediction by the ML model generated by the AutoML process. So this is how AutoML can make the ML model creation process easier and faster. Thanks for watching this video.